Hey everyone, Rivian reported second quarter earnings results, so in this video I'm going to highlight those financial figures. I'm also going to update my recommendation for Rivian stock. Coming into this quarter, I did not have Rivian stock rated as a buy, I had it rated as a hold. And so you're going to want to tune in to see if I am changing that recommendation. So let's get started first looking at the company's quarterly results, and then I've got an interesting slide after this one that you're gonna to wanna to see as well. And then I'll give you my recommendation change. Total revenue increased to 1.1 billion. That was up from 661 million just in the previous quarter. So the company is making huge strides in production, revenue, and deliveries. The loss from operations showed little improvement coming down to 1.2 eight five billion that was down from 1.433 billion in the previous quarter so despite the big jump in revenue the loss from operations only improved slightly by roughly 150 million compared to the nearly 500 million increase in revenue the company produced 13,992 EVs and delivered 12,640. That was an improvement compared to the 9,395 produced and 7,946 delivered in the previous quarter. So a big jump quarter over quarter. That caused the company to raise its production target for 2023 to 52,000. That was up from the previous target of 50,000. Although this was a little bit disappointing and I'll show you why in the next slide so stay tuned for that. This was impressive. The company made a $35,000 per vehicle improvement in gross profit. That was a result of lowering cost of goods sold and increasing production because remember Vivian has the capacity to produce up to 150,000 vehicles right now. And so as it produces more, it makes up more of that production capacity, which lowers the cost per unit. It lowers the cost per unit because it's already got the facilities in place to produce 150,000. So as it produces more, it spreads out those costs across more units, thereby lowering the cost per unit thereby increasing the gross profit. So that's why investors are looking for Rivian to ramp up production so that it could capitalize on the capacity it already has in place. And management reiterated its target to be gross profit positive by 2024 year end. So solid progress here from Rivian in the current quarter. What was disappointing was that it didn't increase its expectations because of the excellent progress. So let me show you the case here. So here I have the company's quarterly production and quarterly deliveries. And what you see here from Q1 to Q2, look at that big jump from 93.95 to 13.992. And the same with deliveries from 7.946 to 12.640. So a nice jump there. If we look so far for year to date, now they've got 22, 23,000 vehicles produced year to date. So about, you know, let's say, tw let's, let's round it up to 23,000 vehicles produced for the year to date. And they're forecasting 52,000 for the end of the year. So 23,000, and if they're going to meet the year end target of 52,000, that means the second half of the year will go to 29,000. So the first half was 23,000. Second half will be 29,000. Not a big jump there from the first half to the second half, right? And that's what was disappointing because from the first quarter to the second quarter, there was that big jump you notice here. But they're not forecasting another big jump for the second half of the year. It's roughly going to be the same, right? So they produced roughly 14,000 vehicles in the second quarter. And they're going to produce... Uh, expectations are they're going to produce 29,000 for the second half of the year. So about 14,500 per quarter for the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So they're not forecasting a big jump in terms of production for Q3 and Q4. And I believe that's what disappointed investors and the stock price was down 
as a result of that, right? So the company made a big jump here from Q1 to Q2. Investors were hoping for a similar jump in Q3 or Q4, but management said, hold on a second. We're, gonna, we're not going to experience this kind of improvement again in the third and fourth quarter. We made this improvement once. It's not like we could continue this kind of trajectory for the rest of the year. Okay, so that being said, to update my recommendation for Rivian stock, I'm keeping it rated as a hold. I'm not upgrading it to a buy just yet, even though I will acknowledge the company made very nice improvements here in the second quarter. And I would not be surprised if the company makes another improvement in Q3 and then raises its target again. I would not be surprised if they did that. I think raising the target from 50,000 to 52,000 was a cautious move from management. And I would not be surprised if we see another upgrade, another increase in production from the third quarter to the fourth quarter. Still, I'm not recommending the stock as a buy just yet. The massive losses on the bottom line are still concerning me. And so I'm gonna wait for more improvement on the bottom line before I can recommend this stock as a buy. But that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.